Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can do calculations at query level. So first of all, on the screen, we've got one table in this database, staff details with a column for salary. So what I want to do is create a query that will look at whatever that figure is and divide it by 12 initially. And then I'll do a second calculation where I will work out what the take home pay would be. Um, because it's a query looking at this data, if this data changes, it just recalculates and you'll see the result in the query. So if I close that, create query, query design, there's a query, just drag the table in and then add the fields that you want to appear. So in this case, all of them. Double click at the top, drag and drop, like so. So if I just move this up a little bit, and then just view this. That's exactly the same as the table. But now let's do some calculations. So what you need to do is get yourself into the end or blank column and give it a title. So let's say um, monthly wage is the title, no spaces, colon is a separator. And all I want to do is refer to the salary field and divide it by 12. So I, if I'm gonna to refer to a field it has to go inside square brackets like that. And then I'm going to do a divide 12, divide by 12, click away, have a look. And it's worked it out. It's not formatted into pounds, but if I go back in and format that to currency, so I just need to get into properties for this and select currency. So that will be in currency and have another look. Now that's nice and neat in pounds. So let's say that we pay 35% on that tax wise. So let's go take home pay in the next column. Take home pay colon. So now we need to look at monthly wage in square brackets. That's why you don't have any spaces, so you don't have to worry about it. So monthly wage in square brackets times 0.65, which is 65%. So you're taking 35% off. And I'll format that already to currency. Have a look. It's actually take home pay. Now, if you change the, the, the figure that it's looking at, so I put that down to 20,000. As soon as I click away, you can see it automatically recalculates. So if I put that down to, say, 15,000, you're taking home, um, you're getting 1,250 pound a month, but you're only taking home 812. So I'll just put that back to 30,000, which is what it was on. So that's just a quick look at how you do calculations in a query. Now, if I just get rid of these two for a second, you can also um, go up here and go into the builder, the query builder, and do the same calculations inside here. So if I just click into this one that we've just done and then go builder, you can see it's there. So I could have typed it in there and obviously I can see a bit more information there. What you've got underneath here is all the elements to your particular database, which is just one table. That's there, and then all the fields. So you would just basically, if I delete all of this, well, I'll leave that bit on. You watch what happens here. If I delete that, and so take on pay, then if I double click on salary, See, it puts all this stuff in there, expression, so I'll just get rid of that. So You've got to then get rid of this and put, the, put your name. So I'll just put test, but it has to have a colon there between the two, or test with a T. So if you're using this, you just type it and then double-click on the bit that you want, and it puts it in the same way. But the way I did it is equally as um, efficient. And if you think this is a bit tight and you can't see what you're doing, you can just go Shift F2 and it will zoom it up for you. All 
and you'll be able to see what's going on. So you can see the formula there. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that was of use to you, nice and easy. Um, you can do some calculations at the table level. If I go back into this design, you can create a calculated field there. Um, so we could have done that sum in the table design as well. Um, just create there, if I just type something, you've got the calculated field there. And as soon as you select that, you get the expression build coming up for you to do what I've just shown you there, to double click and do whatever you want you to do. But I'll just cancel that off for now and just get rid of this. So if that was a fixed bit of information you want, you could actually have it at the table level. So I'll just close that. Don't want to save the changes, and I don't want to save this query either, so I'm just going to close that and not save it. Hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.